I'm with Martin Rolf, CEO of NATS at World ATM Congress in Madrid. Martin, uh, th one of the themes of the show uh, this year is UTM and the county UAV efforts, uh, something that's particularly important in this country given events of December in Gatwick, for instance. Um, Speaking as a, an air navigation service provider with a, a lot of experience in technology development, how is NATS evolving to meet this danger, this threat? So I, I think we have to start by looking at it in its full remit. So it's an opportunity, it's a risk, all of those things, all of those good words. Um, what we're spending a lot of time doing is figuring out how do we safely um, operates UAVs and commercial traffic, general aviation altogether. I think it's simplistic to assume that we're going to separate all of these aircraft types from each other forever. So I think the first piece is to understand what's flying. So for me, the first piece, and we're working very hard on this conspicuity, um, as our regulators like to say, if it doesn't have feathers, it should be visible. So we want to have complete conspicuity, whether that be UAVs, whether it be um, uh, general aviation, whether it be commercial aviation, that part's largely taken care of. Um, so we need to make sure that we can see everything. From our perspective, then there's there's the malicious threat, there's the business opportunity of you know, Amazons or whoever wanting to deliver, and then there's the hobbyist. Then probably in a slightly longer term, there's the sort of you know, mass transport by drones or UTMs and so on. And we're trying to put a holistic approach around all of these, which involves orchestration. So essentially, how do we, using that piece of um, uh, conspicuity, how do we say actually we can fit all of these together in a way where we know what's right, we know what's wrong, we can see the threats, we can detect the threats, we can operate with those threats, we can not operate because we have a base on which to make decisions and we can allow those who want to go about legitimate business go about legitimate business and help them expand that whilst at the same time making sure that we keep everybody safe from the ones who have perhaps less good intentions. So it's a sort of multi-layered piece. I think it involves detection, it involves um, to some extent tracking, it involves a lot of operational procedures to actually be able to operate in that environment and then it's that piece that brings it all together at a orchestration layer that says we have a complete picture of every Thing in our airspace so that everybody can get along in a way that they ought to. And another feature of uh, the emerging unmanned aerial vehicle market is the idea that in the future there will be more drones operating at low level in an urban area, so urban air mobility is becoming a, a big theme. Um, again, is uh, Nats developing a strategy for the, for the UK in that regard? Yeah, so I, I don't think we're differentiating in many, in some ways between urban and extra urban and I think you have to solve the whole, whole problem, you can't just solve one piece of it. Um, it's clearly going to be easier in some respects in urban areas and harder. You know, in urban areas you probably have more coverage so you can use more technology to be able to track where things are going, but then you've got probably more challenges around privacy, more challenges around noise and overflights depending on exactly where you're going. So we're looking at it as one holistic problem that needs to get solved. Um, so all the work we're doing is in, includes the idea of it being in an urban environment as well as you know, blood deliveries to rural areas or you know, those kind of things which actually will make a huge difference um, and are probably easier to do in the first place. So it's a combination of all of those things to make sure that we're kind of covering the whole piece. Thank you very much.